Hey guys, this is Matthew from Gadget University. Today I have a special unboxing for you. This is a Drobo unit. Uh, I'm very excited to open this up. Uh, I got it sent out to me from Drobo. It came very quick. The shipping was uh, very reasonable. Um, make sure you guys do check out their site. That's drobo.com. But I have ordered the regular Drobo unit, the initial one um, that it retails at $399. Uh, so let's go ahead and get to the unboxing and we'll see what it comes with and I'll highlight some of the features for you. Okay, you can open the box and initially you have Welcome to the Ward of. You take that out and it says Drobo. So I'm assuming that's the actual unit down there. Uh, let's go ahead and check out what's in the box first. Oh, fix my camera here. Let's go and check out what's in the box first. And let's see, has a pretty neat layout here of what you need to do to set everything up. So it's three simple steps. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, you get your installation disc and it looks like some instruction paperwork as well as uh, some warranty information. You also have your power cord and your power brick. And under here you get, oh, that's it for the box, but it looks like you get two USB adapters or cables or what have you. So it comes with a pretty good amount of uh, accessories. Um, let's go ahead and get to the main unit here. Let me get a little organized here for a second. Sorry about that. Okay, I'm going to set that down to the side. Okay, and looks like it's coming in some kind of cloth sleeve or however you want to call it. Let's go ahead and move that to the side. Take this off. It's pretty heavy. Now the the 399 initial Drobo unit, uh, the regular Drobo, does not come with hard drives, but you can purchase a package through them. Uh, that you can include, you know, the actual hard drives with the unit. Uh, but for the most part, the regular Drobo is meant for just regular desktop backup and storage. Uh, one of the beauties of it is it's very simple, reliable, and it's scalable. Meaning, uh, you purchase, you know, one or two of these, and you have one complete, you know, hard drive, or you can, you know, back up everything and uh, have it recovered, recoverable. I'm sorry, and uh, Let's see here. It looks like you open this front part and it has some sort of magnet me mechanism. So you just pull it off and kind of sticks on. Uh oh. And it kind of sticks on. That's pretty cool. Uh, but it's telling you, it has a little read me thing. It's telling you to insert the CD and register. Pretty simple. But this is the main unit, it's a four drive uh, bay. Uh, it does support RAID, which means uh, you can put two drives in here, and you can have these two drives down here basically mirror the exact contents on these drives. And so if these drives fail, or they break, or you need to replace them, you have a backup. And it's pretty simple. It may sound complicated, but it does it all for you uh, seamlessly. So uh, any of the average user can plug this up, set it up, and... You're, you're good to go. If you can kind of see deep inside there, these are pretty much plug and go uh, SATA drives. I mean SATA ports, meaning uh, the SATA hard drives. You can just uh, go to the store, buy a SATA hard drive, SATA 2, however you want to say it, and just slide it in here. And it, there's uh, connectors deep down inside, if you can see it, that actually meet up and you just slide it down in there. Uh, once you have everything set up, you know, it, it tells you what each light means along the right hand side and you have green for system healthy this one's telling you to add a drive base add excuse me add a drive here soon uh, don't remove this drive add a drive here and drive failure replaced so I'm assuming the add a drive soon means if your space is running low uh, this will tell you if the drive is being active uh, meaning it's being used so you don't want to of course remove it while it's being used and you have the add a drive here, of course, will probably show it if you have it empty. And if it's failure, then it then it uh, blinks red, which is a pretty good indicator of 
what the heck is going on. And these are can be shown through here if you see you can see through this cover. So pretty seamless. Uh, let me take my camera off the tripod so you can get a better look at it. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, but this is how big it is. And from the side, see how deep it is. And here's the back where you have all the cooling. You have the fan in the back, and then you also have. Oh, focus, there you go. You have your two firewire and your USB. And you have your 12 volt adapter, and it does support Kensington locks, so you can lock this down for security. Uh, that's pretty much it for the unboxing. I'm going to go ahead and, and get some hard drives installed and do a review for you guys. Uh, make sure you guys continue to check out GadgetU.net or follow me on at, or excuse me, follow me on Twitter at GadgetU underscore Matt. And make sure you check us out on uh, the website and uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, you'll get all my updates. Y'all take care and I'll see you next video.